from the hollers and hills of West Virginia, it's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Boom! What's going on? So we got something special for you today. Hey, hey, hey. Turn my head around backwards. Eh, I don't know. I'm trying to leave the bill flat. I'm so used to cranking the bills up. I'm trying to leave my bills flat like that. And I just, I just, I'm, you know, I want to crack it. This is just, I'm just not into the style these days where you leave your bills flat and walk around like this and, you know, whatever. I guess, I guess I'll get used to it. I don't know. Probably going to end up bending it. Anyways, let's try to keep it looking as new as possible for as long as possible. Uh, but anyhow, I'm not here to talk about hats. We're here to talk about this. G-Shock. All right. And uh, this specific G-Shock is the uh, number 9400-1, I believe. Even though this is going to say that it's a 3410, it's not a 3410. I don't know what a 3410 is, but mine is a uh, 9400. Uh, so anyhow, there's the book right out the bat. English, what do you do if your watch stops and stuff? You got some of this stuff here. Auto, uh, atomic timekeeping, you know, stuff here. Um, I, I love G-Shock watches because they're, they're really good for going outdoors with. Uh, you got your G-Shock uh, International Warranty card right here. And uh, your International Warranty Regulations right here. Don't lose those. You go on ahead and uh, get all this filled out and everything. Get it, get it entered in so you can get your warranty. Uh, make sure you, you've, you're you registered and all that stuff. So you can get your uh, warranty uh, or get this registered for warranty in case you need it. Warrantied at any time. Comes in a nice box. This comes in a nice aluminum case. You see there, it's nice looking. I really like it. Um, take it out right here. Got, uh, got that on top of it there, like so. Watch is nice and snug in there. Simply pull it out like so. Pull that out. Push that back in there. I keep my boxes and stuff for my watches. Um, so you got these, this is a resin band. You got this double uh, clasp, or whatever you want to call it. It's not a single, it's a double. I could see some benefit to this. You're not getting a pressure point in the center, ripping any one hole. It's nice and evenly spaced out between them. Um, I have other G shocks, but I broke them. And that's where I broke them at was right here in the center. Ended up pulling it off. Uh, so I don't think that this one will break. It shouldn't break. This is the uh, most expensive G-Shock I've ever owned. And uh, and then this one right here, it does say it's a GW9400. You see right here, the back side. Turn this off right here. You see right here on the back side there, you've got uh, everything. Let me see if I can tilt it to where y'all can see the numbers and stuff on there. I'll have to probably angle it the other way and probably take a shot or two of it and uh, put it right here. Um, but anyhow, it's a, it's a Rangeman. 
shock resistant. It's uh, the GW9400. It does have 3410 in there as well. It's uh, UK and Canada. Uh, you're made in Thailand. Steel, stainless steel back, you know, 200, uh, uh, 200 meters for, uh, for waterproofing. Um, so this, the reason why I bought this watch, um, and spent the money I did on it. I'll just let you know right now, this is a, this is a $330 watch. Um, uh, I got it on sale and pay that much for it. But if you go on right now to Casio and look, you'll see that this watch is $330. All right. Um, so, uh, and, and it, there's other ones that even go up even higher than that. Um, you know, for the same style, just little different tweaks, but still same triple sensor, um, it has barometer, it has temperature, it has optometer. Now, the, the optometer didn't really matter a lot to me. I know where I'm sitting at, you know. Um, but uh, the barometer and the temperature did um, because that will help me, I think, will help me track my growing better. You know, if I can look down at my watch and say, you know, click the button here and get my barometer and my temperature for the day and write it down in my, in my notebook, um, you know, or I can see that and, and, you know, maybe I need to feed or water or something like that. It. it can help me in several different ways. So I got this as a tool for growing uh, my giants. Um, but it's also got other features on here. It's got a compass and stuff. And, and uh, you know, I like, I like my G-Shocks. They do come in handy. I've never had one with this many things on it. I've had one with, you know, the, the, uh, the compass and stuff. But I've never had one with altometer, barometer, temp and uh and compass so uh anyhow i'm gonna go over it real quick um if you want to a lot of this has uh this has auto light and so right now the auto light is not on all right but if you want auto light to come on on your watch simply so you simply hold that and then whenever you want a light you hold it like this the light's messing with it Let's see here. If I can block it like that. See there? It's auto. So as soon as you move your wrist towards you, the light will come on. Again, all you gotta do is press that button there. If we want it off, let it go off. Count three. Let go. Now the light won't come on. It's it's meant to go with your wrist. You see there's not working. You want it on, just hold the button, the light button, go off, one, two, three. You'll see LT pop up in this bottom corner down here, and then see, every time you move your wrist, it'll come on. There you go. So, that is how you do that. Turn these lights back on here. Turn them down. Yep, we'll turn them on. All right, turn the lights back off for me. All right, so um, if you want to go through your barometer, optometer, and all that, this button right here on the side is what you need to do. You hit that once, and that will give you your. Um, uh, when you hit it, it gives you your uh, position, your compass. Second time you hit it gives you your temperature and your barometer all right so uh, um, because I'm holding it so you know I'm getting it hot it says it's 86.4 Fahrenheit and 27.80 on the barometer right there you can, that way you can see that so hit the light there and make it a little easier and uh, you hit it again and that's your altometer and we are at 2015 feet which that is very close. I know the. I know I'm supposed to be at uh, like 2,025 or something like that. Uh, and then um, you can hit it again. You're back to your compass, which uh, it's telling me I'm at 179 degree. It's not telling me what direction because I'm inside and it's giving. I'm around all this electri electricity. It's probably uh, probably messing with it some. But usually what you do is you get your degrees right here and then up here in this corner right here it'll tell you there's 
uh, north, south, east, west, you know, southeast, southwest, southeast, southeast, or, or excuse me, southeast, east, or no, southeast, south, south, or uh, southwest, south, or, you know, stuff like that, just however, wherever you're at. Um, so it's, it's pretty nice. I mean, like I said, it is solar powered, so that helps out a lot. You can hit it again there and go ahead and take it back to your uh, barometer. You're done. Just hit mode, takes you back to your date and time, which is right there. The uh, Wednesday, the second month, February, uh, the first day. Um, so that that's nice there. Um, if you need to change your time, you simply hold the mode button down until it says time, and uh, and then you know you can go world time, UC time, you know stopwatch, uh, all kinds of alarms. You got alarm one, alarm two. You can do with the sun. You can have it set with the sunrise and the sunset. And, and and that's all going by the mode, all right? And then uh, you can do recall, uh, you know, and, uh, and and then you can get a uh, go to RC, and then it will receive the correct time. In fact, it will also let you pick your time zone. Uh, and you can go to adjust. You know, if you need to adjust something, just hit adjust, and, and it will you know, flash you through there. Uh, if you need to go backwards or forwards, that's what these are for. So if you're clicking through, you got your mode right here. You know, and then your adjust is what you you adjust that time, right, or that date or whatever. And if you need to go backwards or forwards, your back button is right here on the top right-hand side facing you, top right-hand side. Uh, and then this bottom right-hand side will be forward. So uh, that just helps you, you know, world time. You, know, you go backwards, you know, Finland, Rio, uh, YTT, YHC, New York City. Uh, Ch Chicago, Mexico, Den Den uh, Denver, uh, YEA, uh, uh, LAX, YVR, a Anchorage, uh, HNL, uh, PPG, WGL, uh, NOV, Sydney, uh, GUM, I don't know what that is, Guatemala probably, uh, ADL, Tokyo, uh, Seoul, uh, TP, BJS, Hong Kong, uh, SIN, BKK, RGN, DAC, KTM, DEL, uh, KIH, KBL, probably Cabal, uh, DXB, uh, Turkey, maybe, no, no, GED, uh, MOW, JRS, CAI, AATH, STO, BER, Berlin, Rome, Paris, there we go, uh, MAD, I don't know that one, London, uh, L A L I S uh, U T C R A I Finland Rio Y T T Y Z H and S C L and then New York City so that's ours and then we would just hit mode and then we got stopwatch again if you want to go to stopwatch you just hit adjust got stopwatch going right there and you know, and all you gotta do is hit forward and you'll take off if you want to stop hit forward again and you stop you want to clear it hit reverse reverse will clear it so again on your stopwatch you hit forward to start see it going there hit reverse to stop I mean hit forward to stop again and reverse to clear and you're all good on your stopwatch you go through again uh, mode with uh, with your timer, whatever timer you want to might you want might to set for that alarms if you want to set any alarms. Um, let me see. I want to set an alarm for uh, six thirty in the morning. On, uh, you hit reverse and it turns the alarm on. Right there, you see it says on. Uh, you can also hit reverse and it'll turn it off. So uh, and then hit reverse again, comes back on. Off on all right uh if you want to adjust it you hit adjust and then uh hold you hold adjust down to set the alarm now you can just go forward you know and you want you know, six uh six hit adjust and then uh set okay 
six. That's good. Now we want when you hit mode. All right, and mode will get you on your on your uh, minutes, and then just hit forward to however many modes you want to go. We want to go to six thirty. So six thirty. It is right there. Six thirty in the morning. Our alarm is set, and we hit mode again, and then we can hit adjust, and we're done. All right, so now we're good to go on the uh, on the mode. I mean, on the alarm. And like I said, there's several alarms you can go through here. That one's on. Um, different mode. You got the sun. If you want to, you know, set something with the sun, rise, the sun set. Um, it says sunrise. You got recall. And then RC, which is receive. That's just receive any kind of data or whatever. This also keeps track of all your movement and stuff. You can download this on your phone. Yeah, if you wanted to, uh, so it's a pretty nifty little little thing here. I, I like it quite a bit. Um, I, I've always liked G-Shocks. I've always been really fascinated with G-Shocks. I've uh, not had one to wear for several years now because, like I said, that band is broke. I have to find that somewhere. I'm going to go look for it real quick before we finish this video up and show you all what it looks like. But, uh, you know, um, I've, I've had, this is my third G-Shock. First one I bought, I bought it in uh, 2005 in Korea, right before I went to Iraq. Um, and I used it over there really, really good. Loved that watch. Um, don't remember what happened to it. Got back home, something happened to it, I don't remember. Um, and then I uh, bought it, my wife, my wife, she bought me one in 2008 or 9. I've might been 9. Her and my brother went together and bought one for me, uh, Philip. And, uh, and stuff, and then um, she bought me this one for our anniversary, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I just don't, I, I just can't get with that smartwatch. That smartwatch drives me nuts. I hate that stupid thing. I, I'll never buy an Apple smartwatch again. That thing is a piece of freaking garbage. The band drives me nuts, Prob and then it drives me crazier that the stupid thing wants to die all the time. I hate having to, I hate having to charge stuff the fact that you got to put that stupid thing on charge all the time, you know, like every night. What the heck do I want to put you uh, on charge at night? To f I want to look at the time I'm at nighttime, too. You know, it just drives me stupid. It's just insane crazy. So, anyhow, let me go see if I can find this other G-Shock. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, uh, I don't know where it went. The the old one. I uh, can't find it. Um, I, had, I used to put it in the grow room last year. I was putting it in there. And I was letting it charge up underneath the, the lights in there. So I don't know, Kai or Kira might have carried it off. But anyhow, doesn't matter. I was just going to show y'all the similarities in them and, you know, kind of like the progression of what they used to look like versus what they look like now and uh, and everything. So not a lot of difference. You can still tell they're G-Shocks and stuff, but you know, there is there is some differences. But anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. You're looking for a good watch. I highly recommend these, these Rangemen. They have lots of protection in them. Every one of these pist pistons um, um, or pipes, I think that's what they call them, uh, have uh, have guards in them so you can get out in the mud, the grit, the grass, all that crazy mess, the dust and everything. And you don't have to worry about anything affecting this watch. They also got a really good warranty with them. So if you're really looking for a good watch that has you know all the things that a gardener, homesteader, cowboy soldier uh you know fisherman whatever okay a really real outdoor watch that you can be rugged as you can be with then i highly recommend the g-shock to you today so outside of that guys we'll see you next time right here in the hollers and hills west virginia peace don't forget to smash that like button that notification bell Good job. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get that Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.